Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Alvin here again. Today we are going to look at the Shure SM7B and whether it is necessary if you have a UAD Apollo Twin Mark II audio interface, if you need a cloud lifter or a Triton Fedhead to get some extra mic preamp gain. Let's have a look. Okay, I actually went ahead and created a quick deck here just to illustrate what I'm talking about. The Triton Fathead runs for $90 US and the Cloudlifter CL1 runs for $150 US. And if you have already shelled a ton of money for your UAD Apollo Twin audio interface and now I'm going to be shelling out some money for the Shure SM7B, do you really need to spend that extra money once again to get the microphone to a level that people are recommending? Here is a service and repair website page that Sure actually had. And in fact, when it's talking about the Sure SM7B, they said that uh, make certain that the preamp gain available for your audio interface goes all the way up to 60 dBs. And there's a whole bunch of explanation about why this is so, and I'm not going to read it through in detail. But I thought that was really interesting and it was a good marker for me because when I went to the UED Apollo Twin Mark II hardware manual, to look at the specifications once again, you'll see that it goes from plus 10 decibels to plus 65 decibels maximum. So the max 65 dBs means you are clear of that 60 dB of gain requirements. So theoretically, you should be good, right? I was myself when I got the Shure SM7B, I wasn't really 100% with this. I didn't like the fact that I was pushing it all the way to near max for any piece of hardware that has to do with audio because you might introduce some noise from the noise floor as you increase the gain. And also whenever you push anything to kind of its near limits, it's probably not a good thing to run long term. So with that, I went ahead and got a Triton Fed head. And for your benefit and this video, I'm going to give you a quick AB comparison test and maybe you can be the judge to see if you can hear the difference. I am going to set up a clip A and a clip B. Both clips are equally set with a total of 60 decibels of preamp gain for the mic. So whether that's a combination of the Fethead plus the Apollo Twin, or if it was just the Apollo Twin itself and I just pinned it at exactly 60 decibels. So here we go. I'm going to be reading this. You be the judge. And the only thing I'm going to be doing with the samples as you hear them is normalize the loudness so they have equal LUFS. So they're going to be um, done with Isotope RX8 and we're going to set them both at an LUFS target of minus 16. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's five year mission to explore strange new worlds to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. So this is clip A, and it was actually with the Triton Fedhead 27 decibel um, included. And I only had to set the UAD Apollo Twin to 33 decibels to give it a total of 60 decibels. And the waveform looks something like this. And you can see that by default, it looked like the LUFS is at an integrated level of minus 28.9. And clip B is the one without the Triton Fedhead. And you can see that it actually ended up being, for whatever reason, minus 35.3 LUFS, even though technically with the combination, they're both set at 60 dBs. And I think I did a pretty good job of uh, speaking at the same volume and level of loudness for both clips. Well, there you have it. I hope that uh, illustrated that I think the conclusion is you can, in fact, use the U80 Apollo Twin Mark II without a Triton Fed head or a cloud lifter for general voiceover. You're going to get loud enough volume and especially if you have post-production uh, tools that can increase the volume with, you know, most software can do these days. Uh, you're totally going to be fine and you're going to get the quality 
that uh, you're seeking with something like the Shure SM7B. That said, if you are uncomfortable, just like I was with maxing out, almost maxing out your, your preamp there on your UAD Apollo Twin, you might want to just grab a Fethead anyway. And I think it's going to be quite important when you're looking at things like the plugins that you want to use on your UAD in unison mode and some of the emulations, it's just better to have that extra headroom um, with that 27 dBs from the Triton Fethead. Which by the way, I chose the Triton Fethead because of the form factor mostly and also the cost. So it's almost half the price and you don't even have to buy an extra extension cable uh, for it because it acts like an extension XLR cable. So I hope that helps with your purchasing decision and some of your consideration. If you like this kind of thing, please hit the like button below and subscribe and leave me a comment if you like this kind of content about reviewing gear, or just talking about stuff in the studio as opposed to music composition and production type of work. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.